In this video, we will be looking at the role that headings can play in making our documents and websites more accessible. First of all, we'll be looking at Word, and you'll see here in this example document, I've divided my document down into chunks. Now, these are quite small chunks, and actually, probably in your documents, particularly your longer documents, each of these chunks might be a page in its own right. But for the purpose of this example, you'll see how I've divided my document down into different levels of headings. Heading one is the most important, and that will have like the key sections, for example, introduction and research methods, and then conclusion, for example. Heading two would then subdivide those big chunks down further, and heading threes will break those subsections down even further into sub subsections. But you can see here, if I just click on the heading one, you can see that I'm using styles to chop down my document. And it's important to use styles whenever you're using headings in a document because it adds an extra little bit of accessibility in the background. Also, it means that you get some advantages. For example, if you wanted to change all the heading styles in one fell swoop, you can do that using the styles pane. And if you wanted to add a table of contents, then you can do it with a single click and it'll automatically pull through all the headings and all the page numbers. But you can only do that if you use headings within Word. The other advantage here of using headings is if we save the file as a PDF. So I'm going to do that now, File, Save As, and then from the Save As File type, I'm going to choose PDF. And for the accessibility options, click the Options button and then make sure that create bookmarks using headings is actually selected. By default, that's not always selected. You'll also want to select document structure tags for accessibility. So with all those selected, click OK and then click Save. Your PDF will load and you can see here that we've got our headings and actually these have been turned into links that go through and jump through the document. But not only that, if we open up the bookmarks pane, we can see we've actually got another way of navigating through a document. Now for a very long PDF document, you can see here that this can have clear advantages. Headings are also important in websites because it makes the pages more accessible to users with assistive technologies, but it also helps every user read the page more clearly as it provides structure. You'll very rarely see a web page which is a solid block of text, and headings play an important role to break down web pages into scannable chunks. Within your text editor, and that could be within Avili, or it could be, as is in this case, with WordPress, try and find the option for adjusting the formatting. In WordPress, it's initially compressed down in the toolbar. We have to click the toolbar toggle button to open up the extra options. You can see here that I've got this heading set to heading level two and everything else is a paragraph and we might have heading level threes popped in there. The reason why I've not started at heading level one is actually this example post, which is the title for my post, will be a heading level one on the page when we view it. So I'm actually starting a heading level down because I've already got heading level one tucked away on the page. So I hope that's useful to give you a pointer as to how you can structure your web pages and how you can make them more accessible. Headings are really useful for creating tables of contents. They're also very useful for anyone that's using headings as a way to navigate around the page using assistive technology.